Paid ads is one of the best ways to grow your business really fast. The problem with paid ads is that it takes a lot of time to create the ads and in particular, the creative, the actual images that you need for the ads. That was until Ad Creative AI. So I reviewed and created a tutorial about this tool around about a year ago now. And it was really, really popular. People love the tool. I've been using it a lot. It saved me a lot of time. They are now on version six. We're now a year on. So in this video, I am going to give you a run through of the updates what has changed, all of the new features. There are some amazing new features, in particular, the ability to create custom royalty-free stock images from scratch with your own prompts. And the tool will actually create the prompts for you. I'll show you very quickly just how to set up your brand and then we'll move on to all the updates. If you want a full breakdown of how to use the tool, um, I'll link to that previous video um, that I have already created. So let's dive in. So this is the first page that you land on where you set up your brand. What you need to do ideally is pop in your, the URL for your website. Um, you don't have to have a URL if you don't have that yet. Um, you will need to have a logo um, though and then select your colors, etc. So I have a URL, so I put it in, it scans it. It takes the brand name and description. It gets the logo, it gets the colors, um, does everything for me. So I can just go ahead and click create brand right so it's really simple just to get started then it gets me into the generate section so this is the exciting bit this is where all the new items are um, so we've got the stock images which i will show you uh, and cover in detail in this video how to use those because i think it's one of the most powerful features of this um, you can now do product photo ads as well so you can see how they're all on different backgrounds you could upload a product of yours um, and create these again incredible um, it'll do custom videos for you um, and then you've got these custom templates you can create your own custom templates um, the main one i'm going to focus on in this video is these stock images so i think this is the one most people are going to use um, or most commonly so you can go ahead and select the size whether you want square landscape story whatever you want um, you will then go ahead and click on next step. So you can see here, um, they have a huge range of styles. So everything from realistic, film noir, cartoon styles, sketches, you know, surreal, a studio shoot even. Um, so I'm gonna select this studio shoot for this one. Um, you can also upload your own images here. If you have a style in mind, maybe you found, you know, specific photo shoot and you like the style, you can upload that here and it's going to match the style to it. Um, the other thing is you can create a custom style, right? So you can uh, prompt it with a custom style. Um, I'm going to go for studio shoot and then it's gone ahead and come up with suggestions for me. Um, so let's take this like editors reviewing um, manuscript in Office, and then it writes out the prompt. So a team of editors collaboratively reviewing a manuscript in a sleek office, large windows, natural light, professional and organized environment, um, and high resolution. Uh, so I could add to this if I wanted to, um, you know, in any way, um, you know, keep the team size to just two editors reviewing the manuscript right and you can keep going you see you've got this maximum allowance in terms of characters give the project a name so we'll call this team of editors then you go ahead and click generate um, so it's going to now generate these stock photos for me so you can see it's ticking it off as it's doing each part um, so here we go. So um, it's come through. Um, as we can see, it kind of missed the part of the prompt about it just being two people. Um, so I would look to maybe edit that. Um, that's probably my error on the prompt not being specific enough. So let's do two editors collaborative reviewing a manuscript. So here we go. So still not quite perfect. Um, these two, but this one, this is spot on. So this is exactly what I would want. Um, and I have played around with this quite a bit. So I've got some other results from this and it normally gets it pretty spot on. Um, so this one, yeah, brilliant. I'm really happy with that. And you can see how as you refine the prompts, the 
better these images will get. But the fact that you can just go in, generate these images, and personally, these are great for paid advertising and things like that, but you could also use this image generation for your website, right? You might go in here and generate some of these images and, and use them on your website. So that's been the big addition to Ad Creative because it just makes this so simple and so quick um, to go ahead and create new ads. Um, you can do the same thing as you can see with these photo ad generators. You put in the post size, of course, um, then you would do next step. You have to upload, of course, a um, product image and you need to describe the product. So you can see uh, listed here, like describe your product broadly. Don't describe it, you know, like this when you're explaining what it does. I actually think this guidance on the prompt team would probably be useful when it comes to generating the stock images. So maybe that's something that they'll introduce is a bit more guidance. And the same, you've got these videos that can be created, you know, product video, so we'll do a square video, next step. Um, and then you would add the images and then it's going to go ahead and, you know, create the video. Incredible updates here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video all about version six of Ad Creative AI. Like I said, I have done a full deep dive tutorial and review on a lot more of the functions. So there is a link down below to that video. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit like, subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.